lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing amazing today's video is a makeup video i'm showing you guys how i did this makeup look the majority of these products are a fly i'm gonna be testing them out letting you guys know how i feel about them i also am gonna be trying out some little snacks from try treats look at this box absolutely full of the most delicious snacks this box was actually from peru the one they sent me before was from thailand but it has all these amazing snacks in them and i'm so excited to try some of them with you guys because i've been holding off from eating them so i can show you guys um if you are interested in buying a try treats box i have a discount code which is eva garby which gives you 15 percent off i've linked them down below so basically they are just a company that fills up a box with full of treats from different countries so you can try loads of different things which i absolutely love because i personally want to try every food in the world i can't get hold of them all the time so when try treats send me these boxes i get unbelievably excited we love trying foods from different places all over the world so if that's something you guys are interested in check out try treats down below and you can get 15 percent off with my code I really hope you guys enjoy this is a little bit more of a different video but you know i just wanted to do a little chatty get ready with me i love you all so so much if you do enjoy this video please do not forget to like and subscribe i love you all so much and let's just go straight in okay so now i'm looking better than i've ever looked before excuse the spots we all have them this one she's thriving this one i just gave a little squeeze and the chin it's just She's living life, but hey ho, there we go. So to start off, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of moisturizer. This is the Lizard Moisturizer Skin Repair. I've been using, I've been using a SPF one, but where that has toppled off to, it's a mystery. I hate putting makeup on a dry face. Like, my face has to be wet. Guys, I found it, I found it. So I use this, it's the Garnier Vitamin C Brightening Serum but it's got SPF 25 in it. I have broken the pump on this because I literally take it everywhere with me. This also smells so good. This smells like summer to me, so I'm absolutely obsessed. Drop all of that in my little thigh. I'm gonna pop on some Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filler. This is like a tiny bit way too dark for my face. My actual face is a lot paler than my body will be. For some reason, tan just does not stay on my face. I literally wash my face and she's gone. But yeah, I'm using this in color six tan. Just get a big, I think this is called a bookie brush. But one like this, one like this, this one's bigger, so I'm gonna do this and I just literally rub it into my face and it just makes me so nice and glowy. Because I've just popped some moisturiser on, it like blends in really well. It doesn't give it much coverage or anything, but it just makes my skin look really nice and dewy and healthy. And I feel like I can just pop this on if I don't want to wear makeup and I just want to look really natural, pop this on and it just gives me a little bit of colour in my face. Let's get started on these treats guys. So when you're looking in here. I don't massively want to overeat chocolate at the minute because chocolate is the reason I get migraines. I've convinced myself at the moment and I'm getting a whole lot of migraines so I'm really trying to steer away from that. Having said that, all the chocolate stuff in here looks amazing. I'm just going to pop into these. They're called Monsieur? 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 I honestly can't pronounce what these are called but you guys, you just read that. Many I'm butchering that, sorry. These are a lightly vanilla flavoured biscuit that are perfect for coffee in the afternoon. Also, really need to steer away from coffee because that also gives me migraines, but let's just do this. Oh, I love a biscuit. That smells so good. Look how good they look in there, guys. This like a bag of Christmas bag of biscuits and a little tiny baby. They taste like custard creams. That is a little mini bag of custard creams. Come to mama. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, you need to try these because I'm going to eat the whole bag. Girl's on January diet, but she's going to eat the whole bag. Moving on, I'm just going to pop this Refi cream bronzer on. This is in shade Sand, and I love what I like to do with this is just tappy, 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 tap, tap, tap. And then I literally apply it to my cheekbone. Well, everywhere that I want cream bronzer, really. So, like cheekbones, forehead. Refi is one of my absolute favorite brands. If you want makeup that kind of like looks like your skin, which is super like natural but coverage and it just looks good, look at the dewiness. I'm obsessed. And I also like to put it on my eyelids. It's kind of like an eyeshadow and i'm just very not neat with my makeup like i 
I just don't really care. Just put it wherever I want it on the nose. That is that was me contouring my nose. This is such a good like light summery kind of makeup vibe. So yeah, just around the jaw as well, down the neck. It makes my voice go weird a little bit on the chest if you're feeling a bit frisky. Now we're looking all nice and orange. I'm gonna take my HB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this concealer. This is Holly This is Holly Boone's concealer. But what I like to do is just literally pop. I don't like to put a lot of concealer on either, but this is coverage on this is divine. I start like a little dot just under the eye there. A little dot under this eye. A little bit here just to lift the face little tiny bit down the nose and I leave the nose the longest and I blend it up a bit on the forehead a little bit on the chin and then a few dots just here so I can kind of like reverse contour um, and then I get my big bookie brush that I rubbed the Charlotte Tilbury in with and then I just kind of blend it in like that so it's not completely like in your face but it like radiance a little bit but on the forehead i don't really like loads of concealer so i really do blend it out on the forehead just because like my forehead's big but small so whatever i put on it it's gonna cover my whole entire head do you know what i mean it I can't describe it i've got a very small head like my head is just little and like this it's like a little bean she's a forehead she's she's almost a five head over here like the receding so on areas that I want like extreme coverage, I use a little peat blender. This one is obviously really clean and just really great. I do apologise that she looks the way she does, okay? I'm sorry. And then I just blend. So I'm just gonna bop, bop, bop on my little chin. When I use a beauty blender with this concealer, it definitely like amplifies it a lot more and gives it a lot more coverage than it does when I like blend it in with a big brush. But I think that's like the same for any concealer really And then I just do it under the eye So do you see how far that little dot just went And that was the tiniest dot I just blend Like that And I do kind of like to leave it a little bit Just so it like gives the most coverage Obviously we do want to blend it all the way in I feel like I blend a lot more here Than I do here I leave that bit a little while And then same on this side Are you seeing that coverage? Like that's just brighten my whole entire face I do look kind of crazy but here I do like to lift the face I don't like to make it like a big line like I've just done I do blend it a bit more than that but it gives me a good guide of like how lifted you want to look on each side up the nose this is where we've got to be hella careful because this is going to determine how skinny our nose looks so I do just kind of do that do you see what I mean and then I try and blend it up whoa blend it up my forehead a little bit but yeah, absolutely obsessed with this concealer. I use this concealer in shade SF1W. I don't know what that means. I would like to try this concealer as cream bronzer as well, but I've heard it's really good for that. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't gonna go chocolate, but I saw this and it looks like a fab, but like a chocolate biscuit bar, which I absolutely love that. Flabs. Absolutely love the fabs. They're like one of my favorite little ice lollies. It's a cookie coated in chocolate and covered with chocolate sprinkles. Say no more because that sounds like a bit of me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Little biscuit, chocolate, and sprinkles. Mmm. Oh my god. Be right back in about 10 minutes when I finish this because this is fucking unreal. I have sprinkles all in my mouth, so if you see sprinkles in my teeth, leave me alone, okay? Leave me big. Next off, I'm using this Refi cream bronzer. This is in shade Rose. I absolutely love this shade. Let me just, just look at that. It's this fat headed brush. This is from God knows where it says gloss on it, so it's probably from like BM or something, but to me a brush is a brush i'm not too bothered but this is a proper pink blush are we seeing that okay let's go let's go ladies are we seeing what this is doing i feel like i should zoom you guys in so you can see how good this looks on the skin this camera is actually quite good at zooming never knew that are we seeing the difference like oh my goodness and yes i'm 
I am going on the G, okay? Don't hate me. It's really just the prettiest colour. And I kind of go over my nose as well, just to give that, like, oh, I've been in the sun and I'm blushed. I'm a little bit sunburned. You see in the shine of those products? The Refire mixed with the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, guys, the time has now come for me to set my little face. So for setting powder, I do use the H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Powder. Loose powder, it's a loose powder. It is in shade translucent, it's like O2 translucent, so it does like look like just like a clear little powder. And what I do is little puffs, little puffs are your best mates. I'm gonna tell you that now, I'm gonna tell you that now, I'm gonna tell you that proud. I personally, this is like the first little puff I've used, but I've seen on TikTok everywhere. Everyone using those big triangle ones. This makes the powder under my eyes not look cakey at all. I don't know how it works, I don't know. I don't get it but it does so what I do is I usually fold it in half like this dab it on there and then with the powder on there go straight down my nose as like a little kind of baking thing do we see cooking my mama and then same on the other side I do kind of have a wonky nose if you haven't already realized I did headbutt the floor when I was about 10 trying to do some gymnastics and ever since she's been wonky. With the remainder, I do not like to use too much powder at all. I just under the eye and look. Are you seeing the difference? Like this is very dewy and this is like a lot more flat and matte but it still has that little bit of shine in it. And then same on this side and then just pat under the eye. Well just to really highlight the chin just to kind of like I literally, my chin and my neck are about this close to each other, do we see? Like, there's not, I'm not like a, I'm not a structured jaw girl, I'm like a double chin girl. Um, so I really try to like, emphasize, emphasize, emphasize my chin. I do that there like that, and then a little bit there like that as well. This doesn't have to be straight or perfect or anything. I just feel like this also defines my little cheekbones. And then on the head, I don't like to use a puff on the head because I feel like, again, little forehead and it just goes everywhere. So I just get, oh, whoa. I just get a big brush like this, dust it off a little bit, and then I just, and it mattifies me, but it doesn't like overdo it. And then same, and then all of that on the cheekbones because I really don't want to take away from like the really beautiful colour and the shimmer. And then I just brush away. The more of like the loose powder that I've put down and then on the nose and our nose looks cute and contours I feel like she's now wonking the other way don't know how to achieve that see I'm gonna try it is this sublime Casico chocolate con no so this is by Nestle um rich flavored chocolate bar filled with crushed peanuts I love peanuts if this tastes like Reese's as you can tell, I'm on a health kick at the minute, so that was sarcasm. I've literally just eaten about five biscuits. You say I can't eat chocolate, and I'm just here like chocolate. Bite into that. Mmm. 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 That literally tastes like Reese's, but it's literally like a block of chocolate. And you see it's like chocolate and it's got little peanuts at the bottom here and they're like four peanuts. That is super duper delicious. That tastes so so good. Who knew these things existed? Like I do not understand how there's so many things I've never tasted and tried before. It really helps my feeling. So for eyebrows, as you can see, my eyebrows are just like quite messy. So I've got this refined brow sculpt. It is like I'm sure we've all seen this before. It's got a little tail on the end and then if we wiggle this off. You've got a really nice brush with some lovely brow gel on. So what I do, whoa, is I just pop it through my brows. I'm literally using the viewfinder right now as my mirror, so if this looks a bit questionable, that is why. Stormy baby. Stormy. I don't think Stormy is such a cool name. Thing is, if anyone else calls their kid Stormy, it's gonna be like she copied me so not me Kylie Jenner herself so just then some of that brow gel and then I like to take this side of this brush and just really like stick my brows down 
you guys see how good that is? Like the comparison. So I just stick it up. And it gives me like a really nice fluffy brow, but it's super easy to do. It looks so, so good. It looks clean, it looks fresh. And then if you don't like the super like stuck up look like that, I just get this little bit here and I just go like flat across the top just to like neaten them a little bit. This one is stuck though. She's stuck all good and proper. Okay guys, so now that I have done the sticking down, I'm gonna take this NYX Professional Makeup Brow Tint Pen, which looks like this. This is like 12 pounds, so it's super cheap. And it literally is like a felt tip pen. But if I draw on my eyebrow hair with this pen, because it's like a super fine pen. So at first I just extend the tail like so. And then I just go through the front of my eyebrow. You want to use like a super light hand to be safe. But I mean, that wasn't the best job I've ever done, but yeah so because i've got very fine brow hairs can you see that just looks like kind of laminated compared to this eyebrow at the front here it's very light and on this side it just looks a lot more filled in if you find it too intense you can like rub it up like that i am using this in dark brown and i think i'm they definitely do lighter shades than this if you feel like it's too dark for you I'm just gonna go do the same on this side. I'm gonna go into mascara next. I don't really do eyeshadow in like my everyday today life. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. This isn't a waterproof one. I do like the waterproof one if I want it to stay on, obviously, for longer. But I do find the waterproof one a little bit more clumpy. So I'm just gonna pop this one on. This does wonders for eyelashes. Like, this is just everything more so I just pop it on like this and honestly eyelashes completely change your face I do always get it all over my eyelid but I just wipe it off and then finish with a little spoolie when it's dry are we seeing that are we seeing the difference between my two eyes like this one just looks so more awake and cute and happy and I just feel like this makes my eyelashes so long like literally touching my eyebrows so obsessed with this mascara are you guys seeing what i'm saying because honestly it's bloody beautiful okay guys so last off is lips to do lips i'm obviously obsessed with refi so we're just gonna have to keep using refi this is the lip sculpt in shaved fawn so if you're not familiar with this it is like a little lip liner like this and then at the bottom we have this like gel kind of thing which allegedly makes it stay on for longer but i personally find without putting that on this lip sculpt still stays on for ages and it is just i don't love i'm not like always like oh my god i gotta put this bottom bit on i just forget about it really also feel like if you want to put other lipsticks on over the top it makes it a little bit harder when you've got this on so i do tend to just steer away from that bottom bit but the actual lip liner itself is phenomenal so what i do i have um like a shadow on the top of my lips so i always line basically where the shadow is it here and I just like that you see and it just makes my lips look so much bigger than they are I go down the sides like that I don't like really overline the sides I kind of stick to its natural shape at the side because I feel like it kind of makes it look more plump rather than having like a really long mouth it just makes it look more plump I just kind of like blend it in a bit to my natural lip do you know what I mean just like colour in a bit and then exactly the same on the bottom. I go from the corner to corner and I kind of overline this bottom bit here. It was literally that easy. That's what you got to do to line your lips. Easy peasy, squeezy lemons. They get lip filler, it's like a year and six months ago, a year and a half ago. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's all gone now, to be honest. I would probably get it again, but I just don't feel like I massively need it at the minute. Um, but it has like, I'm pretty sure it's really gone which is sad. Then I just go in with my MYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is a shade London. This is my absolute favourite. I've literally loved this since I was like 15. And I just, na, 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 na. and it does kind of matte, but then I do put gloss on over the top. And it just gives a really nice like brownie nude, which is like a really nice coffee colour. And I do try to blend it into my lip liner. And then I just take the teeniest tiny bit of concealer and when I say teeny tiny, I mean teeny tiny. I get the brush here, rub my finger on it, 
put a little bit on my finger and just and then I and then blend that out just kind of gives a really nice ombre effect and makes your lips look more plump because it's darker at the edges and lighter okay, my loves, that is the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching I absolutely love filming this video I never usually do like makeup videos but I actually really enjoy filming them I just know not that many people love watching them but you can know I like it, I enjoy it, and something that I love to do is my makeup, and I always do it exactly the same, so I thought I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. Again, if you do want to try, try treats, I have a discount code, which is just EvieCarby, which gives you 15% off, which is unbelievable. I absolutely love try treats, you know, I've tested them before, and this box is probably my favourite because it was generally just full of biscuits, and... I'm a biscuit girl through and through. Yeah, I absolutely love filming this bit for you guys. I've linked dry treats down below as well if you're interested. I've also linked all the products that I used if you want to try any of them out. They're all down below. I love you all so, so much. Happy New Year and I'll see you all very, very soon.